Well, good morning. My name's Tom. I come to you from the rustic log cabin in northern Maine. Welcome to my outpost this morning. <laughs> this is Beaver Creek. If you're new to the channel, have a cup of coffee. Well, this is number 11 on the Maine black bear season 2022. I came in this morning to uh, check my bait, number one, add to it, number two, uh, refreshing my wick. I still don't have any bears at that site. There is deer sign, raccoon sign, <laughs> all the way from here to the bear bait. I'm not going to give up on it. Uh, we, we're right now, uh, see we're right now we got one more week and we're into October. I don't know exactly what day it is today. It's just been, uh, everything's kind of running together right now. Got so many irons in the fire. Uh, plus coming out here and keep uh, refreshing in the bait. There's still no, no uh, bears at the bait. So, uh, what, you know, we started this thing. Like I said, we're on number 11 now. I started this thing with the idea of keeping it real from the very beginning all the way to the end of the season. Now the end of my season is the end of October because I can trap bears. So I'm not giving up on this site. The temperatures are cooling. I've been baiting it now for a little over four weeks, give or take. I, I come out here every three days, uh, just check on things, stir it up. The raccoons are making it for one barrel, or, it's, or I'm keeping it fresh. The raccoons are cleaning up five gallons every, every three days. They can reach into that drum just enough to clean it up. So I'm putting fresh bait in every, every three days. No, no big deal. Uh, but when somebody tells you that throwing bait out in the woods and you're going to get a bear, I want you to remember this, this series. And then you can tell them it's it's not as easy as you think. Go throw a donut in the woods and get a bear. If you have watched the last 10 videos, you see the amount of work that's gone into that site. Now, I'm still not giving up on that site. That's a very good site. And next year, I will bait that site again because I'm, I am, uh, what's the word I want? Uh... Doesn't matter, have a cup of coffee. <laughs> I'm establishing that site. So if I can get a bear or two or three coming in over there, they're going to remember that, hey, come fall when I smell that, there's some food there. I want that site because that's the farthest away from my cabin on my land that I can put that sand. So I want the bear activity over there, away from the cabin, and away from what we got going on here. So with any luck, and I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm hard-headed and I just keep right on a pushing, I don't, I don't quit. So with any luck, if we don't get it established this year, maybe we'll get it established next year. It's no big deal. Uh, the stand is in, the barrels are in. All I've got to do, come in here next year and, and start laying in some bait. So when the naysayers that don't like baiting bears tell you how easy it is to throw out some food in the woods and you'll get a bear, that's not the way it always happens. Sometimes it happens really fast. Up at the other cabin, it would probably happen really fast. There's a lot more bears up there. I'm hoping there's enough bears here to keep me keep me with what I want. Uh, the The travel cost to the other cabin adds so much to the cost of the bear that outside of just shooting a bear doesn't really save me anything. So I'm hoping that I can turn this into a pretty good bear spot. We'll see. You know, it's got everything, and I know there's bears here. <laughs> that way, about a mile. There's more bear activity in the berries than you can than you can count. So that's what I'm doing today. 
What I did over the weekend was I decided that I'm going to put in another bait site that away. Uh, in, in and around the blackberry bushes, I know they've gone by. But there's a valley there, we've got the water, there's a, there's a, val a low spot valley that runs, runs uh, up, up through there. So maybe they'd want to, uh, you know, bears like privacy. And everything that I'm seeing kind of heads towards that valley. So I'm going to come down in where the stream meets the valley. And I'm going to establish a bait site there today. Because I've got another month for trapping season. So I'll, I, I made a barrel this weekend. I made everything that you need to make to make the site legal, which is a sign. Uh, I made up another dummy trap for, for establishing a bait site uh, for trapping. I brought in everything I need for that, so that's what I'm doing today. I was hoping that I had a bear activity out here by the time I got here, and if not, if I did, then I wouldn't bother with this site coming up. But since I still don't have a bear over there, so I'm going to check over here and do the same thing there. I'll be filling, uh, I'll be tending two baits for the next month and see what happens. Now, if we get one over there fairly quick, then we'll know for next year that we probably should be bear hunting over there. And I probably will anyways, because this is my only my first year in here, and I'm just barely starting to scout because, you know, we've been so busy building up this cabin. So uh, with more knowledge comes all kinds of stuff. So I saw this year while I was building these tree stands and establishing this bear site in here, that there was a lot of bear activity over there. So we'll know that for next year. Knowledge, like I always said in these videos, knowledge is king. So we'll see what happens. But maybe next year we'll start out with maybe running two baits in here. That one over there and this one over here, they'll all be established, all be ready to go, so we'll see what happens. That's my plan and I'm going to stick it to it. <laughs> But I wanted to keep this real because a lot of times on a lot of other channels and a lot of other YouTube stuff, all you see is the high points. You see, the, and I know that's probably what you want, but reality is it doesn't always happen that way. Same thing with deer hunting. Deer hunting in the state of Maine is tough. There's plenty of deer, but it's thicker than thieves out here in the woods. And speaking of that, I saw a nice buck coming in here this morning, coming up over the big hill. I just left the pickup, maybe within a half a mile, and out through the trees I could see, I could see something going about as fast as lightning. And uh, he just happened to go through the right clearings that I could tell that it was a nice buck. Nice big rack on him. So he hung around. He was listening to that thing come, but he was he hung around till I got right beside him. <laughs> so we'll see what happens here. I got I I I probably let you know in another video gone by. I've been putting in a uh, four wheeler road down into where I want to go today. So I've gotten to within a hundred yards of where I want to go anyways. Oh, probably less than that, seeing distance. So what I want to do is continue on. I just got to cut a couple trees out of the way, laying, you know, laying on the ground. And I, I want to put in a nice loop trail is what I want. So I can drive right by the, the, the new established site, drop off my, drop off my bait, and then uh, just circle right around. And that'll make it fast, easy, and simple down in there and see what happens. But, hey, with any luck, we'll see if we can get one to come into that one. But right now, and that's just a hard, true fact <laughs> about hunting. You know, and then it gets you back to, you know, you listen to some of these people where, you know, I'm just going to go to the woods and I'm going to shoot a deer, and I'm going to shoot a bear. 
Well, that's the other part of this, this little series that I've been running. Uh, I haven't talked about a whole lot of that through here because I figured the videos would speak for themselves. And if you think you're going to come up here and live off the land and shoot a bear every other day, <laughs> maybe this video will uh, let you know that's not exactly the way it happens. <laughs> It warmed up yesterday. Before that, we had about three nice days, cool, cool days, so that was pretty good. I was hoping that I could draw them into that site, and, but it just hasn't happened. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go, there's a valley over there that runs between two pieces of high ground right down to uh, Beaver Creek. So I started a trail in there. I, I don't have to go very much further to uh, uh, finish it up. I need to finish up the loop so I can drive right in and then drive right out. So I'm going to go in there, establish another bear site right there uh, for trapping season. I've got, the next month is uh, bear trapping. Unless something happens here within the next week, then we can't shoot over bait uh, at the end of the month. So that leads me now to my bear trap, which that's all right. I don't mind that. This has been a, a long-term plan, pulling all this together. I got my trapping license last year, worked on that, got all that lined up, and been trying to educate myself as much as I can on bear trapping and all that, so. But that's all right, because last year, if you remember, I spent the year uh, getting my trapping license and getting that squared away. So, uh, now that we're into trapping season, now that we're into trapping season, uh, we'll get to use that trapping license. <laughs> Over the weekend, I made up another bait barrel. Something that I can uh, bolt to a tree. It's going to, uh, I'm going to bolt it to a tree and I'm going to uh, chain it to the tree. I also made up another dummy trap so that I can uh, dig a hole, put the dummy trap in. And get ready that way. Uh, but that's, you know, that's my next plan here as far as, as far as bear hunting. It's not over by a long shot. I'm not even past the halfway mark now that I have this trapping license. Like I said, I still got one more week in September. And then I got the whole month of October. So we're not out of this by any stretch of the imagination. <laughs> but that's why I started this uh, series. This is number 11 of this uh, uh, bear hunt, bear hunting season, uh, bear, yeah, uh, black bear hunting season 2022. On the very first video, I said I'm going to take you through the highs and the lows. What I wanted was a series that shows the reality of bear hunting. Now, I want a bear, so I don't want to end this series with no bear. But I really didn't want to get a bear on day one either, because that wouldn't really show the reality of it. The reality of it is sometimes you have to hunt the whole month of shooting season to get a bear, and then sometimes you don't get the bear anyways. So, and sometimes you'll have bears coming in, and you still won't get a bear. So, you know, that's what I wanted. I wanted to show the reality of an entire season so it looks like we're gonna reach that goal anyways so the next time you're sitting at a campfire or sitting around a table with somebody and they tell you how easy it is for the bear hunter to get a bear he just throws some food out in the woods and and he automatically gets a bear tell them about this series because uh, I pulled no punches I've left nothing out 
I haven't videotaped every time I go into the bear bait because they would all be the same. You know, I figured we would, if something happened, then we would, you know, I videotaped a couple of trips in uh, just to, but they're always the same. If you get in there and nothing's moved, then it's not much of an exciting video. So my plan is if something happens in there, then we will definitely set up a camera and uh, videotape that particular time we go in and, and bait up. But it's not as easy as everyone thinks it is as far as throwing food out in the woods and you're going to get a bear. It doesn't, it doesn't always happen that way. Uh, and that's probably what keeps it exciting for me. Uh, I thoroughly enjoy bear hunting and I, I think it's one of the hardest things that I do as far as in the woods. Number one is all the work that goes into it, all the planning and all of that. So it just, and you have a lot of time in the woods. You know, like right now, if I'm not staying in here at the cabin, I'm coming in every, every other day to uh, freshen up the bait and check the bait site. And once I lay a trap on the ground, uh, then I'll be coming in every single day, if not staying here every single day. Uh, because you've got to check your bear trap every single day. You, you can't skip a day, you've got a bear trap out there, you've got to check your traps. And I wouldn't want the bear to be in there any longer than he has to be anyways. So, but that's the long and short of it. And uh, we're just going to keep plugging along here on the bear series. Like I said, we got one more month. Working on a whole bunch of other stuff right now. I just finished the uh, next tree stand, the hunt shack. That's all done and ready to come in. Tomorrow morning, I will, I will instead of bringing in bait, tomorrow morning I'll be trucking in pipe staging. Uh, so that'll get the pipe staging in here. Then maybe towards the end of the week, I will get the hunt shack hauled in here. And then a day to put it together. And then I am finished with hunt shacks for this year. That's enough. I'm looking forward to this project coming to an end. <laughs> it has been a busy, busy summer once again. Next year I'll be back on track as far as fishing, hunting, and all that. And I will be spending most of my time uh, scouting, fishing, and hunting. Uh, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna put a curtail on a lot of this building because this project is coming together and now it's time to start using it. Uh, I've got uh, the other side of the stream is a, not really a mountain, but it's a really nice ridge. I want to get over there and walk that entire ridge. Uh, from what I, I can see, uh, probably close to a mile once I get down on the, on the swale grass. So you can just see that it looks good. I want to get up in there and find out how many oaks are up in there. And I want to find out if the deer are crossing this stream pretty regular. I've hunted streams like this before, so... Lots and lots of stuff coming. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, you're really missing out. Because uh, there's a lot of stuff getting ready to happen here at the Beaver Creek. As well as up at the Rustic Log Cabin. So have a cup of coffee with me. And uh, I'll bring you along. I'll, I'll, I'll slip in a couple of clips here for setting up this uh, new bear site today. And it's supposed to rain later, so I really need to get out of here. <laughs> so... Enough coffee time. Bait site number two. Pouring rain 20 minutes ago. <laughs> Did think I was going to get some pictures for you guys. There's my trap uh, right there under that bucket. I brought in 10 gallons of bait. So I'll be back in a couple of days to check on it. I've made a loop trail for the six-wheeler so I can drive right in, drop stuff off. Done deal. I will see you next week.